And I'd say we're definitely getting close to a product. I got the shelves cut. They're not welded on yet, but they are cut to size. It's pretty thick stuff too. You can see, it's got a fair bit of thickness to it. I forget what gauge it is, but it's pretty thick. This is the tank side, so I have a support there in the middle. So the steel won't buckle under the weight. Of course, this is not drop rated. This is just static load. So there's not going to be any buckling here, except for maybe in the middle. <laughs> um, so I don't know how that's going to go just yet. These members will be cut out because the box is going to fit in. So it'll straddle the bottom. And I have to make some cross supports with some gusset plates to make up for where the wheels attach. So we'll use the wheel attachment points to attach into the base frame. And uh, we'll get it all probably spray painted black because I don't have a paint shop and I can't do that. But so far... I think it's coming out pretty good. Got the wheel plates in. And um, they turned out okay. Ran into the holes into the into the wall, which was not good. Snapped a drill, but we'll just regrind it, repoint it. It's not a big deal. Um so the wheel plates are on and it's pretty well flat so I'm not worried about wobbling and even if it does wobble a little bit we can always figure out which wheel is high and which one's low and we can shim it a little bit so I think that's okay let's see what the wheel plates look like over here they're pretty pretty substantial So the wheel plates take up that whole space. And yeah, the welds are bad, I know. It's okay. I'm learning. I've only got one screw in at the moment because this is just a fit check. So then we'll grind all the metal down and scratch it up so we can prime it and then probably rust-oleum because rust-oleum is cheap and easy probably gonna take two cans for this thing so that's about it so far the um, swivel wheels will be on the front and the fixed casters those are in the back course where the tanks are and uh, the tanks will be on the back here and we're gonna make a a tank um, support setup kind of thing yet and we'll probably bolt that on instead of welding it in because I want to get the basic component done, which is the bottom here. And I can do this in two parts. There's no need to weld every little thing together. If we can get this part way going, all the better. Because uh, this is, I think, weekend four now that I've been working on this. And at this rate, it'll have to be completed post Thanksgiving. But even then, there's no telling if it'll be warm enough for paint to dry. Even though this is California, paint still has uh, trouble drying when it gets too cold out. So, I guess we'll have to see how it goes. That's it for now.